made today or whatever. Read the space surprise. Okay. The first chapter, Jump on Board. Hammy and Charlotte lived next door to each other in an apartment block. They were good friends. One day, one afternoon, their parents let them go to the new fun fair. When Hamid and Charlotte got there, the rides were not open yet. Hamid noticed a fantastic looking ride standing on three tall legs. Look at that ride, Charlotte. That's the one I want to go on. The two uh, children walked around the ride to get a better look. Suddenly, a door opened from above their heads. Suddenly, a rat came out and slid down the ground in front of them. About some arrows lit up and began flash to flash. It seemed the ride was open and the children could go in. Hammett and Charlotte found themselves in a room that has ship port holes. The door closed behind them and a blue light flashed at them. After a moment, the light switched off. Hammett looked around. Cool. It's like a spaceship. Charlotte was less happy. She said, I don't, I didn't see anyone selling the tickets. Don't you think it's strange that nobody asked us to pay? Then suddenly the ground started to shake. So realistic. Charlotte walked over to a, a port hole and she went pale and yelled, Look, Hammett, this isn't a ride. It's a real spaceship and it's leaving us. We really have taken off. Hamma stared out, stunned silence. The earth was getting further and further away. Just then, Charlotte noticed a strange creature watching them. A creature was small and had large pointed ears. She was covered in blue fur. The strangest thing was she had four arms. Uh, um, a mortian stammered Charlotte. We're in a spaceship with an alien. No, she said, I'm, no, I'm not a mortian. I'm a Vanillian. My name is M Milica and I'm five years old. Amazing, I can understand everything she says, of course. It taught last year when you came in. It is a instant learning being. It taught you at your brain how to enter Gallic language. Now come with me. I'll introduce you to Zara and Volca. Zara and Volka, said Hamad. Then he whispered to Charlotte, What do we do? Do we follow her? We don't have much choice, muttered Charlotte. I hope the Vinulans don't gobble us up for breakfast. It looks like... Huh? One of the Vinulans saw... Nearly choked on her food. Goodness me, what are these earthlings doing on our spaceship? We were, they were walking around the spaceship. I thought they would attract attention to us, so I invited them up board. But the big Venulin was angry. Melika, we told you not to open the door. We landed on the middle of the fair to hide us from the goblins who were chasing us. We didn't do it to meet the peoples of Earth. 
My name is Volka, and this is my husband Zar. We were different botanists. We study plants and different planets. Could you take us back to Earth, please? Our parents will be worried. I'm sorry, but that's impossible right now. The goblins managed to track signals from our engine here to Earth. We have to get away as soon as possible. Are you hungry? There are still a few food cubes left. Would you like some? No thanks. Well, that's surprisingly strong. They went past the gym, an elaborate with weird plants. Charlie was amazed by all the strange things. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Oh no! The goblins had destroyed our main engine and boarding our spaceship. Quickly, hide, run and hide. Never be taken prisoner by gob, gobble means. Hiding, the hiding space was small. The leader pointed a laser at Volka's forehead and shouted, "Tell me where your watch, watch seeds are, or something." Blah blah blah. We already delivered it to them to our planet. Search the ship. Now, their supplies. So working and blah blah blah. So they entered their planet. Yeah. So this is it. And have a great day. See you next time.